Now, when in um, in 1967, Tammy Terrell got sick, and oh, yeah. you were called in to work with Marvin Gaye. I wasn't called in. I was <laughs> demanded that I did. <laughs> Uh, I happen to have been very good friends with Bobby Schiffman of the Apollo Theater. Okay. And um, so, so I was like kind of spoiled rotten by him. Mm -hmm. And so he, uh, he, I got this phone call one day and I was outside playing ball with the guys outside. Right. With stick ball and everything. Mm -hmm. And so he said, in his language, he said, get your so-and-so, so-and-so in here. I said, well, 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 well what's up? He said, uh, do you know that new Tammy Terrell and Marvin Gaye song? I said, yeah, I heard it, yeah, mm -hmm. nice. He says, learn it tonight and learn the, uh, uh, Ain't No Mountain High Enough right. and get your so-and-so in here tomorrow and you opening tomorrow with Marvin Gaye because Tammy is sick. Oh no. So I had to stop everything I was doing and then run for, for one night record I didn't have, because I've been hearing it on the right. radio. I had to learn it that night. We had to get the material that night. And uh, I was lucky to get it because I lived in Long Island. You can't just right. walk down the street like you can right. in Manhattan. So I got it, learned it. So when I got to the Apollo the next morning, his the whole Motown crew uh -huh. descended on me and and everybody said did you learn something this one's and I, i'm there and these questions 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 they come in at me and all of a sudden it's like moses parted the way <laughs> and marvin came through says leave the young lady alone i've got it and they part it's like the wave parted right. and they all left me and uh, he said you all right i said yeah he said, did you learn the song? I said, well, yeah, I tried my best. Mm -hmm. He said, that's all we need. Mm -hmm. So then we get on stage, and now we're doing it. Everybody's hanging around for that first show to see, does she do it like yeah. Tammy? Is she going <laughs> to do it? And I got out there, and I was so nervous. I can imagine. And I, you're trying to fulfill Tammy's shoes sure, on what you're sure. doing, and yet you want to still do your best and do yourself. Right. I got hung up on that part about just where, just about where Marvin's supposed to come in. He said, what you giving me? <laughs> and I was still hung up on a note, and I never did let him get in at all. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize. He says, you know what? Keep it, and we're going to do it that way every show. And that's, he was that gracious that and great. that nice, wasn't threatened by a, right. this little girl got right. a note. Uh -huh. that's, a, that's amazing. And I thought he was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So that's my good Marvin Gaye story.